Pinoy mula Batanes hanggang Hulo ang nagkaroon ng chance ang magbakitang gila sa pambansang noontime show na Itbulaga. Nanghahanap uh, ako ng huh? girlfriend na Pinay. Oh! oh my gosh! Oh, oh, oh! Dahil nung nakaraang buwan, isang kakaibang pa-contest ang sinimula ng programa na talaga namang umatok, ang You're My Porenoy. Ang mga contestant dapat isang daang porsyentong purong banyaga pero pusong Pinoy. Kabarkads! Kamusta po kayo? Dito nagpasiklaba ng mga nagagwapuhang dayuhan mula sa pagkanta ng mga original Filipino music. Hanggang sa pagsasayaw ng ating mga folk dance. At ang mga porinoy nito, buling-buli ang kiliti ng sambayanan. Lalo na kapag binitikas na nila ang mga nakakatulog na santang Tagalog. Ahen, ang damo, kong patay na ang baboy. Baboy. Nakal ebe. Makaliki bang? <laughs> you can do it. Sasika? Sasika? Pero dito lamang Sabado, mula sa walong kalalakihan mula pa sa Inglaterra. Ako po si James Sumner, taga England. Salamat po. Italia. Maganda tahalina ba, Kats? Ako si Diego Furoni, taga Itali. Brazil. Ako po si Eduardo Fagundes, taga Brazil. Portugal. Ako po si Guiadono, mula sa Portugal. Maging Iran. Ay na ako! Diyos ko marami tao! Ako po si Reza Kianifa, mula si Iran. At Hong Kong. Ako po si Richard Juan, taga Hong Kong. Salamat po. Ba, 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 ba. Tingnan natin. Itinanghal na ang kauna-unahang You're My Foreignoy. Congratulations! You're My Foreignoy! Kia Dorda from Portugal! Congratulations! Ang 27 anyos na Portuguese Brazilian na si Gui Adorno. Gui Adorno from Portugal, you're my Portuguese. Number two, ikaw ang aming your my Portuguese. You've been here. That's a very complicated, complicated question. Kinabukasan, matapos ang kanyang pagkapanalo, personal kong nakapanayam si You're My Porenoy Grand Winner, Gui Adorno. Sa Sao Paulo, Brazil, ipinanganak at lumaki si Gui. Naroon din ngayon ang kanyang mga magulang at apat pang kapatid. How's life for you in Brazil? I come from a mid-class family. You know, we're not poor, but we're not rich. And like, uh... It was a good life. Mula sa pamilya ng mga abogado si Guy, sa katunayan, nakapasa siya sa isang law school sa Brazil. When I left high school, uh, I tried to go to law school and I got accepted in a university there. But when I got the call and said like you were accepted, I wasn't really happy. Actually, I started uh, acting before in Brazil for two years and then I started traveling and then I, I, I had to quit. But that was one of my passions. But Right now, music is something that I really want to do that I, I don't know, maybe acting can be maybe in the future, but right now it's really music. Pero taong 2005, nag-desisyon si Gina mga ibang bansa upang sumabak sa pagmumodelo hanggang sa mapadpad na siya sa Pilipinas taong 2011. What made you come to the Philippines? When I was in Thailand, I was in a, living in a model's apartment. One of the Brazilian friends that was living with me, one of my best friends there, she's, she's been here before. She met me there and she said like, oh, I think you can work well and everything. And I talked to her and everything and then she arranged for me to come here. Ako po si Guia Dorno. Nandito ako, Manyala Barcats, para sa inyo. so comfortable with the language and uh, 
Does that make you feel at home here? The Filipino language is very close to me because it's Spanish and English. So even though everything like the streets name and I don't know, it's really, if you go to Brazil, you know, especially to Sao Paulo. If you go to Sao Paulo, you see like if you're walking towards the uh, main avenue there, you see you're going to think you are in Ayala Avenue. It's really the same. It's the same. So it's amazing. Ang Forinoy Talasalitaan, kailangan mong basahin. Gogi. Matakalipi. Oh, it's very easy. Well done. Well done. Well done. Bukod sa pagiging TV commercial at print ad model. Paminsan-minsan, tumutugtog din siya sa mga gig. Who made you join Forinoy? A booker that I've worked before with, and then they called him saying like, oh, we need foreign talent that can sing or dance a Filipino song. When I sang there, I didn't know, like, of course, I knew that Ido Laga was one of the biggest and the oldest TV shows here. Pero sige, hindi pinalad sa unang round ng semifinals. Kaya naman, ikinagulat niya nang bigla raw siyang ipinatawag para lumaban muli bilang wild card. Seriously, uh, everybody saying that you're uh, an unexpected winner. Welcome back, e. Hello. How are you? How have you been? Good, are you? Good, yeah. Because, number one, you're a wild card. And nobody knew that you're going to come back. But uh, you came back and uh, ultimately you won. When I lost the first Saturday, that was really a huge disappointment. Then I lost. I was like, oh my God. And then I didn't know anything about the wild card. I didn't know that was a grand final or anything. But then when they called me back, I said, I can't miss it again. So I worked twice harder. <laughs> You won the hearts of Filipinos with your Filipino song and your guitar. That was my first attempt to sing Filipino songs. How long did you have to study that song? Like, I think three, four days I had to learn for the first time. Four days? Yeah, but uh, El Bimbo was even like less. I had two days to learn El, El Bimbo. Seriously? Yes, and the guitar parts and everything. Because I studied like who was Paraluma. I, I, I want to know the lyrics so I could perform and everything. Kahit may plano raw si Guy na bumalik sa Brazil upang bumisita sa kanyang pamilya at mga kaibigan. For good na raw ang pananatili niya rito sa Pilipinas. You miss home? A lot. A lot. A lot. My, my home, my friends. It's, I mean, in seven years I, I spent just a few time in Brazil. And uh, I miss it a lot. But everything that happened to you makes you the person you are. So, you know, there's no regret. It's all, it's all worth it. You're always gonna miss something, you know. So are you willing to stay here and become Filipino? Yes, for sure. I mean, like, I, I feel half Pinoy already now. I really like it here. Ang tunay mong pagtao, nakikilala sa gawa mo. Oh, well, you did that, eh? Very good. I've learned so much from here. It's really the country I've learned the most from all of the countries I've been. It's not easy, but in the Philippines, I found I found to be one of the best places to be because whenever you need the help, you you can find people that are gonna find they're gonna help you. Like I've been here for a long time now, and uh, there were like good times, and, and I had people support me there. But in the bad times, like there were even more people. That, like I could count on people that I even I wouldn't imagine that I could. They were just like, if you need anything, just call me. Bagamat mag-isa si Gay dito sa Pilipinas, palagi naman daw niyang kasakasama ang kanyang pilam girlfriend na si Julia. Do you feel about him winning for Inoy? You know, I don't do this often, but pray right now. I was like, pray, 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 pray now. And then um, they were saying first runner-up. And I was like, okay, I kind of want them to say his name just in case, but I don't want him to say his name. So they said all the runners up and it wasn't him. And I was like, either he wins everything or he loses, he wins nothing, you know, because all the, the gifts were given. He has I was like, oh my God, I just like was screaming. And I was like, 
I was like shaking because I was like, oh my God, what's going to happen? Because I know he was freaking out as well. Isa rin si Julia sa mga nagpapakilala ng Pinoy culture kay Guy. Whenever I'm eating Filipino food with him, I'm, I'm like, no, 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 you have to eat it like this. That's why put it on the rice. You have to put it on the rice. <laughs> that's why I don't eat it. He's like, no, I don't want to. I'm like, you have to do this. Yeah, Alex, that's my food. I love the synagogue with the rice. She's a food dictionary. Yeah. And then uh, you have to eat it with a go. Mm -hmm. All this one? Yeah, lemony is crunchy. It's perfect. Yummy. Mm. I really like this peanut butter. Uh, how do you call this? The kare kare? Kare kare, yeah. Richard won! Samantala, bagamat hindi na nalo ng You're My Porinoy, ang Chinese National at 21 anos na si Richard Wan, palagi namang trending topic sa Twitter. Dahil nakakuha siya ng halos 8,000 likes sa Facebook, ang pinakamaraming likes mula sa mga kandidato. Siya ang ginawara ng Dabar Cuts Choice Award. Ang bayay ni Kabayaning na susugatan nag-ibayo ang, ta ang, ang tapang. Nice! So, Tubong Hong Kong at panganay sa dalawang magkakapatid si Richard. Taong 2010 nang lumipad siya dito sa Maynila upang mag-aral. For me, the biggest problem at the start was the language because then coming here, I didn't want to speak it at all. But from time to time, I tried to practice. I tried to really actually want to learn the language. And then eventually, I picked it up and marunong din ako magsalita. Kapayapaan. 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 Kasi dati pag nag-cab ako, I said this na din sa Ibo Laga na kinakausap ko din yung mga taxi driver para mag-practice din yung Filipino ko. And boom, na yun, medyo, mas, medyo fluent na din ako. Kasalukuyang nasa third year na si Richard sa kursong Broadcast Communication sa University of the Philippines, Diliman. I started living here around three years ago. I mean, I came here just to, just to study, really, just to follow my dad's footsteps. I mean, I grew up in Hong Kong and all that. But then coming here, then I, I'm currently living with my grandpa, who, who, has, who has lived here since, I don't know, he moved here from China like so long ago already. So, yeah, we have a house here and that's where I live right now. Oh, yay! Salamat! Hey, it's so good to see you, or shrimp, pork. So yeah, some fish balls. Can buy it. Thank you. Put in it. Bukod sa mga street food at pagsakay sa GT, marami na rao siyang gusto ng tatangi na mga Pinoy. Ay to. Kami hindi na kami. Kuya para po. Salamat. There are many admirable traits that I got. Like first, first of all, I mean, it's again, it sounds very cliche, but everyone's very happy in general. Despite, I mean, there are people who are, who are very like, poor or like having trouble to like live. But then the thing is, they're all very happy in general. Like as in, and very family orientated. As long as they're with the family, they seem happy. Kung napamahal na raw si Richard sa Pilipinas, gayon din sa kanya ang kanyang mga tagahanga. Friends texting me say, "Oh wow, why are you trending right now?" I was like, "Okay, um, because I joined the contest and apparently everyone likes me." Eto na siya, Dabergan Choice, Richard Wan from Hong Kong. I think maybe of my personality, maybe of my charm. I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, when I first came here, I mean, I thought of coming here studying, maybe go back to Hong Kong or maybe follow my dad to travel, like because what he does was family business where we travel to China a lot. Maganda tang halipo. Ako si Richard Juan, taka Hong Kong. Mahal ko ang Pilipinas and mahal ko den kayo lahat na cover cards. Salamat po. And right now, I mean, like after being exposed to the culture of Philippines, I mean, I, I love this place. I love the people, and and despite there not being winter, which which is kind of hard, but then, um, yeah, I might stay here. Sa talaan ng Department of Tourism, umabot ng halos limang milyon ang bilang ng mga dayuhan ng nagpunta sa bansa anong 2013. Pero ang ilan sa mga ito, hindi lamang pumunta sa ating bansa upang mamasyal, mag-aaral at magtrabaho. Mas pinili nilang maging Pinoy. 
hindi lamang sa isip, sa puso at sa salita, kundi maging sa nasyonalidad. Tulad na lamang ng 66 anyos sa si Dave Daryani. Matapos makagraduate sa koleo sa India, lumipad si Dave dito sa Pilipinas noong 1969 upang magsimula ng maliit na negosyo. Uh, one of my uncle, he called me up and uh, he said the Philippines is very good and uh, I said why not I try. I finished my college and then I came here exploring about business and I like the place and destiny brought me here you can say. Dito na rin sa Manila nakapangasawa at nagkapamilya si Dave. Bagamat malayo siya sa kanyang pamilya at mga kaibigan sa India, pakiramdam daw ni Dave. Pilipinas na raw ang kanyang lupang sinilangan. I feel like home here also. And the best thing I like here is, you know, pakisama. Marami na rin baka sa isayang pangyayari sa ating bansa ang kanyang nasaksihan. I have seen all the hardships here in, in the Philippines. I used to ride in the jeep, pay 10 centavos, the martial law. I have seen the Plaza Miranda, those kind of things, you know. Dahil sa apat na pung limang taon na si Dave sa paninirahan dito sa Pilipinas, napagdesisyonan niyang magpalit ng nasyonalidad mula Indian para maging isang ganap na Pilipino. Matapos ang siyam na taon, naging naturalized Filipino citizen na si Dave. It's not expensive, pero it takes time. Yun ang problem. Uh, it took me almost nine years. When I apply in through judicial system, it takes almost eight, seven, eight years, nine years. It depends on, on the judge, depends on your attorney. Pero it's worth it. After I became Filipino, my son can become Filipino. After him, his the whole generation can can be here. Mukha ko lang ang Bombay pero puso Filipino. Talaga toto. I'm happy that Philippines has adopted me as a child. Sa kasalukuyan, umaabot na sa 478 ang bilang ng mga dayuhang nagpapanaturalize sa ating bansa. It will usually run for at least mga 5 years. Kasi sa unang tatlong taon, yun yung pagpapile mo, pagpapublish at saka pagpupost ng petitions, tapos maghihiring yan. Kaya aabot ng tatlong taon. Tapos pag may desisyon ka na, that's a grinant yung application mo. Mag-aantay ka pa ng dalawa pang taon bago ka makapag-oath. Kaya usually, tatakbo siya ng limang taon pagkote. Sa judicial naturalization, that would depend, one, magkano ang singil ng abogado. Magkano, pangalawa, magkano ang singil ng newspaper na nanalo for the publication. Here sa SEN, more or less, um, around 200,000. mga kababayan ang gustong lumabas ng bansa at magbago ng kanilang citizenship na katutuwang isipin, ano? Marami din palang mga dayuhan ang gustong pumunta dito at maging Pinoy. Well, the beauty of our country, our culture, and the friendliness of our people is enough for them to want to become Filipinos. Patuloy na magbabantay sa mga isyu ng bayan. Ako si Nelson Canlas kasama sa isang brigada.